Ghost goblins were out tonight crowding shopping malls, museums, and even entire neighborhoods. KITV's Jody Leong made the rounds with the trick-or-treaters tonight, and she joins us live now with that. Jody? Sean, we just returned from Kalihi, where a family is ending a 40-year Halloween tradition tonight. The Silvas have transformed their home into a Halloween wonderland for four decades now. Oh, the community loves it. As you can see, the line of people. We have a line. We have a thousand four hundred bags, and a constant flow of trick or treaters to enjoy the sweets and the sights. Seventy-eight year old Isabel Silva created the lights and fog, the hanging pumpkins, skeletons, monsters, ghosts, witches, and spider stew. Takes you about a week to set it up all by herself. But the Silvas, their eight children, fourteen grandchildren, and two great grandchildren, enjoyed their last Halloween at their longtime home. The family will be moving out at the end of January when their lease expires with Bishop Museum. Happy Halloween! It was at Kahala Mall as well, where superheroes entertained the keiki. Most youngsters watched with wonder. Others couldn't keep their eyes open. There was Darth Vader and a chubby cheeked skunk. Kahala Mall and the Junior League of Honolulu passed out goodies and toothbrushes donated by local dentists. And mall vendors treated long lines of costumed youngsters. Can you do belly dancing for us? <laughs> I have. Can you try? <laughs> do you want me to go away? Okay, we'll go away. No. From Beauty and the Beast? Can you sing? No. <laughs> the winner of the night? A homemade creation that sparked oohs and ahs. A transformer. And so what is it made out of? Cardboard. Did you make it? Uh, my dad helped. I'm a circle like it's several weeks. What are you? A tank. <laughs> Now, when we first met Nicholas, we thought he was a pizza box, but Nicholas promptly transformed himself into a jet. His little brother, Alex, turned himself into a tank. Unfortunately, the boy's dad had to work tonight and wasn't able to see the great response to his son's costumes, and there were plenty of them out there tonight. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4, Island Television News.